Hey everyone, welcome to another video today. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to be live streaming tonight, by the way. Uh, can confirm, I am getting Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, Eric from the Nintendo Prime Podcast and myself are going to go pick it up. Feels weird saying from the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Still working on rebooting it. We're, we're building a new set. I'm going to do some teases of that set down the line. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty cool. But uh, the big thing that I want to bring up here is Microsoft made a big hoopsie. So we know Microsoft and Nintendo have been super tight, right? Like super, super tight. Uh, but I don't think they were so tight that they were going to promote something Nintendo has been actively, legally fighting against. Microsoft made a big whoopsie and threw out there on Twitter that you could use <laughs> that you could use their browser, Microsoft Edge, to basically illegally play ROMs. Um, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> it's something they actually promoted. Before we get into that, I gotta remind you we do have a giveaway going out for a ninety-nine dollar eShop gift card. Uh, head down to the description. Or the pinned comment to find out how to enter for that. Uh, beyond all that, yes, folks, I am streaming tonight at 8 p.m. CT, uh, Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser Fear, right here on YouTube. Uh, and then I'm going to also be streaming it tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what time yet, but I'll be doing that over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime TV. It's just a special launch stream today. I'll get some more game streams going on over at Twitch here in the next week. All right, let's get into this because, wow. So I had to go to Reset Era because the tweet has since been deleted. But uh, I'll show you that the tweet existed. We'll click on this guy in a moment. Uh, but here's the original tweet. It says, Microsoft Edge Dev. This is an official Microsoft account on Twitter uh, for developers on Microsoft, you know, for Microsoft Edge, for, for their browser that is Chromium-based. That's right. Um, gone is Internet Explorer, for those who don't know. It's now Microsoft Edge. It's a brand newish browser uh, that's built on Chrome. So it's actually a really decent browser because it's a Chromium browser. There's actually like dozens of these Chromium browsers out there, but Edge is actually not too shabby. You know, they're trying to make it so you don't just use Microsoft's browser to download Chrome. Hey, look, we're already giving you Chrome. Sort of. Uh, but obviously, it's own extensions and all that. So it says, calling all Pac-Man, Tetris, and Mario Kart lovers. Okay. You got me intrigued. Did you know Microsoft Edge has these plus more vintage games on the extension site? See the full list. And then it gives a full list. Edge extensions, browser extensions. And it makes you wonder, okay, maybe Pac-Man and Tetris. Maybe they got some licensings to allow those for extensions. But Mario Kart? Nintendo allowed Mario Kart to be playable through an extension in a browser? That does not sound very Nintendo-like. This is the Nintendo that's been shutting down everything. This, this does not sound right to me. All right, let's scroll down. Jordan Chase responds, The only Mario Kart 64 extension downloads a ROM of the N64 game. <laughs> so let's look at this. Let's, let's open this tweet. Let's open this tweet. Here it is. Here it is. Here's what it downloads. It downloads a ROM. So sure, you can play Mario Kart 64 through an extension on Microsoft Edge. Yup. But it uses a ROM, and here it is. It goes from neptune.js.xyz slash ROM slash n64, etc., etc., etc. It's a ROM. You're telling me Nintendo was cool with you telling people publicly to go download an extension that allows you to play an illegal ROM after all the lawsuits Nintendo has had going on. Yeah, let's just say Nintendo probably wasn't too happy with that. And that is why when you click on the tweet and you go to the response, the tweet has been deleted. Um, it's interesting because Tetris doesn't download a ROM, uh, but it's not endorsed by the company. Uh, so apparently, you know, it, it's pretty obvious that while it's just like a JavaScript version of the game, um, it's not, uh, and they're like, how do you know? Well, I'm, I'm actually in programming right now. I know .js is JavaScript. So I'm actually programming in Java right now in my classes, but, uh, yeah, so I could actually make this game right now. Um, yeah, I actually know how to make it, but that's besides the point. Uh, it's clearly not the official version of Tetris. Um, and then, uh, same things for, for Pac-Man. It's just another clone. So basically these are just illegal versions of these games and Microsoft. I mean, I, I got to look at this again. Microsoft <laughs> advertised this. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, did someone get fired for this? I, I, I seriously got to wonder. It's obviously a big oopsie to promote this. Uh, it's not like we don't know these ROMs are widely available, right? ROMs for Tetris, Pac-Man, 
um, any of these old school games, Mario 64, uh, Mario Kart 64, they, they, we know these games are widely and, and easily gettable. Uh, and if you don't think they are, it's just because you have never tried to look for them because you've had no interest in it. As someone who was a 90s kid, grew up with the early stages of the internet going into the early 2000s and absolutely did emulate games back then, I don't anymore, uh, but I did back then. As someone who actively participated in that emulation crowd, let me just say that like it's super easy to get these. It's still super. It's even easier to get them today, despite Nintendo shutting down several popular ROM websites. There's always more. There's always another one. There's always um, you know networks behind the scenes and, and LimeWire and, and, and different ways to seed the game from other people. Basically, once these things are on the internet, they're not going anywhere. Whether they're dumped clone javascript versions or whether we're talking about actual roms of the real game um I w what i find just fascinating is that whoever put up this tweet which is clearly someone from the uh microsoft um you know the, the, their, their account management team their their social media management team because there is a huge separation at a lot of these major corporations that here's the social media team and then here's like the actual developers the social media team isn't always up to date on what it, what's exactly legal. They see they see something really cool that they think would be a big promotion for their browser, and they go, "Let's tweet about it because like this is so cool. It's so cool that you can play these games. You can't do this on Chrome. You can't do this on Firefox, but you could do this right here in our browser through an extension." Not realizing that the whole reason you can't do it on those other ones is because it's against the law, because they're illegal. Those extensions shouldn't be allowed. Now, obviously, we know extensions exist outside of the usual, usual stores and everything, but there's a reason you can't go to the Google store for Chrome and add an extension that lets you play Mario Kart, Pac-Man, and Tetris. Because... It's against the law, and they would get sued if they allowed it to be on their store. So, like, Microsoft basically pointed out, hey, look, we don't monitor our store as well as others. Come look at these cool features. <laughs> I don't even know if the extension's still up. I think it was up when uh, when I first checked this story. You can still get the extensions if you bother to go look for them. I don't know if Microsoft plans to take them down. I assume so. But whoever pointed this out not only kind of ruined it for people that maybe knew about these extensions but was were keeping mum on it. It's kind of like when there's like a really amazing, epically awesome fan game uh, and you don't want it shut down by Nintendo. The best thing to do is really not talk about it. Obviously, by the time it reaches my ears and I see it, chances are it's already been publicized, so it's too late for that. But it, it's very interesting uh, to see stuff like this where Microsoft or someone at Microsoft on that team made a pretty big boo-boo uh, in promoting something that could literally get Microsoft sued by the makers of Tetris Pac-Man and obviously Nintendo when it comes to Mario Kart. It's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Now, because it was quickly taken down, I think as long as they end up taking down the extensions as well, uh, that's fine. But here's the thing. What if there's other extensions uh, available through their store for other games like Pokemon and all that that people just haven't been paying attention to because it's not that popular of a browser despite being installed by default on every single install of Windows 10. So it'll be interesting uh, to see if anything legally comes out of this. I have a feeling that Microsoft's just going to crack down more on their store, which you know, sucks for those people that were enjoying the fact that Microsoft wasn't cracking down. And for this person, I don't know if they lost their job. Um, I could see this being a job losing moment for somebody. And as much as I don't wish ill will on someone, it's a pretty dumb, silly thing to do to point to something that is widely known to be illegal uh, and not understand the legalities of that. So, again, I don't know who did it, what social media person did it, and if anyone lost a job over it, but I would not be shocked because this is something that could have got Microsoft in trouble big time. I doubt it's going to in the end. Uh, Microsoft was clearly on top of it. The delete was tweeted within minutes. Uh, so clearly somebody knew, hey, this isn't cool. But, uh, damn, man. Microsoft made a big poo-poo here. I... I, I I usually don't see these mistakes by like these big corporations. Now and it's kind of a it's a twofold mistake, by the way. It's not just the social media people that screwed up. Who's ever managing their extension store should have never allowed these extensions to be published. So like that's another thing too. It's a failure at multiple levels at Microsoft to allow this tweet to go out and allow the extensions to exist in the first place. Maybe 
the guy at uh, who's running the social media account might be saved by the fact that he was just promoting something that was approved for the store. It's not his fault or their fault or her fault or its fault that this happened, whatever pronoun they want to go by. So, anyways, that's just my thoughts on that. You guys let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. How, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You like, subscribe, all that I see a bunch of you guys at tonight's stream. I know a lot of you guys are already playing the game. Uh, maybe I'll put up a poll later about what you guys want to see me start the game with first. You want to see me go straight into Bowser's Fury mode. Would you rather me focus on the actual core game, which I love the core game. Uh, we're going to beat it all. doesn't matter. You guys let me know uh, in the poll I'm going to put up in the community page. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video.